Hi, welcome back to my channel Pi by Me Maths. This is Baiju Vasudevan. Hi, okay. In this series, we are learning about interpreting the data and mean, median, mode, finding range, Q1, Q2, Q3 and all. We looked at two types of data. This is the th third type and we learned how to find the mean, uh, mean and mode already. Now, to find Q1, lower quartile, Q2, median and Q3, upper quartile, you can you can use this formula. I have seen this formula. Some of the students using this formula. If you know this formula, feel free to use it. But what I'm going to teach you here is called linear interpolation method. So to find Q1, Q2, and Q3, you need the cumulative frequency. So find the cumulative frequency first. It's three. 3 plus 25, 28 plus 30, 58 plus 30. So, this take this one cumulative frequency, the third, the last figure of the cumulative frequency, or the sigma f. Sigma f will be same as this one. Now, to find the q1, you need to take the sigma f and divide by 4. In this case, sigma f is going to be this last digit, 71 over 4, which is going to be 17.75. So, listen to me carefully, we are going to apply linear interpolation method. So, we got sigma f divided by 4, which is 17.75. You look at the cumulative frequency, now the frequency, cumulative frequency, and check where this value lies. Anything more than 3 till uh, 28 lies in here, right? So 17.75 lies in here. So taking this class interval, we are going to find the Q1. So we are going to apply the linear interpolation method. To understand the linear interpolation method, I'm going to show you another example here. Let's say the corresponding class interval is 30 to 50. 30 to 50. Okay. And then the corresponding cumulative frequency and the previous cumulative frequency. For example, let's say it's 10 and 20. For another set of data, it's 10 and 20. You take the sum of the frequency divided by 4, divide by 4, you get 15, for example. And talking about another set of data, for example, just to get an easy understanding of this. So your 15 lies in here, halfway between 10 to 20, 10 to 20, right? So what would be the corresponding value here? So 10, 10 to 20, 15 is halfway between 10 to 20, right? So here, if you look at the class interval, it's 30 to 50. So halfway between 30 to 50 is 40. That's your Q1. You see? If you still don't get it, I'll give you another example. Now let's say when you divide sigma f by 4, you get 14, let's say. 14 is in between 10 to 12, right? So if you divide this 10 and 10 to 20, if you divide this 10 and 20 into equal intervals, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 14 is here. What would be the corresponding value here? How do you find the corresponding value between 30 to 50? You have to divide 30 to 50 by 5 equal intervals. So it's going to be 34, 38, 42, 46, 50. So for this value, the corresponding value is 38. That's going to be the linear that's going to be our lower quartile. This is a linear interpolation method. In linear interpolation method, we are going to assume that the values are equally distributed between this. That means, for example, let's say uh, they are talking about some shoe size or something. Between 30 to 50, there are 20, there are 10 students has a size of 30 to 50. That means they are equally, the 10 students are equally distributed. That means if you take 30 to 34, the size 30 to 34, there are 2 of them. 
34 to 38 to walk and 38 to 42. We are going to assume, it's not true, but we, to apply the linear interpolation method, we are going to assume that the values are equally distributed. But, now look at this data now. Here, we have divided sigma f by 4, we got 17.75, the corresponding class interval is 65, 65 to 70. So you need to take the corresponding cumulative frequency and the previous cumulative, not the frequency, cumulative frequency. Okay? Your 17.75 is somewhere between these two, let's say it's here. So what would be the corresponding value here? That's going to be your Q1. But the example I showed you, right? That was the ratio was a whole number. It was easy to identify. Here you get a decimal number. That's when you apply the linear interpolation. Q1 minus this divided by 60 minus 70 minus 65 is equal to do the same thing at the bottom also. This minus this this minus this, 17.75 minus 3 over 28 minus 3, make Q1 as a subject. So you get Q1 minus 65 over 5 is equal to 59 over 100. Bring the 5 here, multiply by 5, add 65. So you get Q1 as 67.95, that's Q1. So that's the value corresponding to this. If you look at the ratio, this, this ratio will be same as this if you put this number in here. That's linear interpolation now. So what you need to do, I'm going to repeat this method again. So I'm going to repeat the method to find the Q2 now. For Q2, you take the sigma f divided by 2. So 71, sigma f is going to be this last digit, or sum of everything you get 71, divided by 2 is going to be 35.5. And then look at the cumulative frequency and find where this value lies. 35.5, anything more than 28 till 58 lies in here. So 35.5 lies in here. The corresponding class interval, class interval, right? Check it. 70 to 75. Okay. Now take the corresponding cumulative frequency and the previous cumulative frequency. So your this value is somewhere here, 35.5. The corresponding this value is going to be Q2. So to find Q2, apply linear interpolation. This minus this divided by this minus this. Q2 minus 70 over 75 minus 70 is apply the same method here as 35 minus 0.5 minus 28 over 58 minus 28. Make Q2 as the subject. So Q2 minus 70 over 5 is 1 over 4. Bring the 5 here, you get 5 over 4 plus 70. So we got 71.25 that's the median median is 71.25 you see we are finding the lower quartile upper quartile median in x not in frequency so do not worry the number overshot the total figure 71.25 is the time taken to finish the 400 meter in seconds so that's the median of this it's 71.25 somewhere here so if you want to try, you can pause the video and try finding Q3 now. Take 3 over 4 times sigma, find the value, check where the value lies, check the interval, take the corresponding cumulative frequency and the previous cumulative frequency and apply linear interpolation method. So to find Q3, you need to take 3 fourth of sigma f, which is 71, and find this value, get 53.25. And then look at the cumulative frequency and check where this value lies. Anything more than 28 to 58 lies in here. So 53.25 lies in here. Take the corresponding class interval 70 to 75. Take the corresponding cumulative frequency and the previous cumulative frequency. 
So your 53.25 is somewhere here. So the corresponding value here is going to be Q3. Apply linear interpolation method. Q3 minus this, this minus this. Q3 minus 70 or 75 minus 70 is equal to this minus this divided by this minus this. So 53.25 minus 28 over 58 minus 28 make you three as a subject. So you get 74.21. That's your Q3. So that's how you apply linear interpolation method. So this linear interpolation method works for both the table, whether it's without gap or with gap, you can still apply the linear interpolation method.